Welcome everybody to NBA Jam, a game developed by Midway for arcade play and with Iguana Entertainment handling the console conversion, which was released for the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis in 1994. I'm Cenozoic and I'm here to talk you through this game. So, as will be familiar to many of you, NBA Jam is a two-on-two -two basketball game. It was one of the first real playable basketball arcade games and was also one of the first sports games to feature NBA licensed teams and players with their real digitised likenesses. At the time of release I was not especially into basketball but all the same this game was an absolute must own Mega Drive game. I played it for hours and I have to say its gameplay has really stood the test of time. Okay, so I'm going to play as Chicago Bulls and I've been paired with Philadelphia 76ers. So Chicago Bulls represented by Scottie Pippen and Horace Grant and the Sixers represented by Jeff Hornacek and Clarence Weatherspoon. So there were some notable absences from the game including Michael Jordan and Shaquille O'Neal they had secured their own licensing agreements but all the same this game the gameplay is really fantastic and it ushered in a generation of sports games based on this fast paced that's my first points of the game uh, a fast paced action packed style which uh, had a sort of exaggerated quality but made for really exciting gameplay. So I don't want to go too far behind here but great three-pointer. One of the distinctive aspects of the game is the algorithm it must have been programmed with. It's very difficult to really thrash your opponent or be thrashed by your opponent whether that opponent is a human player or a CPU player. Three points back for me drawing closer and this idea of not being able to get too far ahead or too far behind really keeps you engaged with the game. So we've just reached the end of the first quarter. So I'm just two points behind. And during these transition screens you get some play tips. So I've got a bit of work to do here. Five points behind now. And that's a foul by me. That is the only type of foul in the game, the goaltending. But otherwise you are free to shove your opponent over, grab the ball out of their hands. And the game is also renowned for its spectacular dunks. So I'm drawing closer there, within three points of Philadelphia now. So basketball by its nature is quite an end-to-end -end game, but this game really makes a virtue of that. Up. 
when the commentator there described my player as heating up. If you score three baskets in a row with your player, they then become turbocharged and their accuracy improves and they score more spectacular dunks. But you have to score three consecutive baskets with your player. If the other team scores, then it resets. So my player now heating up and I move into the lead. Oh, they've just... <laughs> well, that is one of the other exciting elements of this game. As we take a look at the halftime report. So I've scored a good amount of points with Scotty Pippen. On the initial menu select, you can choose which of the players of your two players you want to control with the CPU handling the other player. But even when you are letting the CPU control the other player, you still say when that player passes to you or attempts a shot. I've managed to fight my way back into the lead after an initial dodgy start. This game really is all about the three pointers, but the algorithm I was talking about, it really does kick in and you'll find that you aren't allowed to score several three pointers in a row. The game sort of keeps everything in check. So Philadelphia still very much in this game. I needed that to keep my slender lead. Oh, well. I'll take a narrow lead into the final quarter of the game. Would have been nice if that had dropped. You've got to watch out for those real Hail Mary buzzer beater attempts. Oh, here we go. There is an example of the algorithm kicking in. Surely I can't miss this time, no. So I should mention the turbo option that you have there. So you can see under Pippin I have the turbo power bar and when that's full you can use that for a burst of speed represented by the player's shoes turning red there.
If I can make this. Shatters the backboard. Incredible dunk. Seven points ahead. I've just got to keep them at bay. 25 seconds. Two points ahead. If I just hold on to it. Well, that was narrow, but I managed to win. 59 57. Great stuff. So I scored a good number of my team's points, and I'm pleased with that. This really is one of the ultimate pick up and play sports games of all time. As an arcade game it was wildly successful and in fact it made a billion dollars and in 1994 it became the highest earning arcade game of all time so really it was little surprise that that successful formula translated to console play so well and this formula of action packed gameplay and instant accessibility that's not so common in the current generation of sports games was what made it such a successful game. I'm Cenozoic, thanks for watching.